Greetings, this is this and I am me and I just thought I would start today with um, the puzzle literally still in the box because I got this um, for Christmas and it says IQ puzzle here, it says dashing fine gifts. I literally don't know how else to describe it. Um, but you know if this is the puzzle you're looking for, you know if this is also what you have. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't have like a title of what kind of puzzle it is. But, um, yeah, that's what it looks like. You, you if you, it looks like that, you're in the right place. Um, it also comes with a, an instruction solution sheet here, um, that I literally don't even know where it was in the box because I took this out and had it apart and then randomly saw this on the ground and I was like, where did this come from? But, um, so it does have solutions with it, but if you saw this and you were like, I still have no clue what they're talking about, don't worry, I'll help you out. Or if you lost this, you know, maybe you also opened up your box and didn't notice it there at all. Um, don't worry, you don't want me not, I can leave it here. I can leave it here if you guys want, but, um, you don't need it, okay? Because I'm going to show you how to do it. So here is the puzzle, right? It's just two, two metal pieces. Um, they each have one gap in them right there. And you're like, okay, so how do I, how do I get these to be disconnected, right? Well, here's the secret, okay? This is, this one's pretty simple. Um, I want you to take your puzzle, okay? However it is, and orient it, um, like this, I believe. <laughs> so you want, just take each piece in your hand with the long, the long arms, like, out, and then the short arms both sticking up, okay? And, um, if you want it to look exactly like mine does, so this is the, as least confusing as possible, have the one that's in your left hand, um, have the short arm overlapping the front, right? So it's not behind like this, with the long arm in front, you have the short arm in front and going up. And then in your right hand, you have the short arm going in the back, okay? Okay, so when you have it like this, what you're going to do is you're going to take this, this left piece is going to stay stationary, okay? You don't need to move that. The right piece, you're holding onto the long arm, you're going to spin it around, okay? It has been spun around and it now looks very similar Keep hold of your pieces. Don't don't let go of them like I am, okay? But it looks very similar to this top picture, right? Yes. Um, so spin it around like that. Then you're going to take the short arm here and have that be pointing down, okay? And then you're going to take this curved piece right here and make it go that direction. So away from your body, okay? twist so that is going away from your body and now you see this short arm is right about to come through this loop boom that's it okay so it's one fluid motion okay don't worry i'm going to show you guys how to put it together um in a second if you didn't if you couldn't just follow what i was just doing but yes so one fluid motion if you're holding it like this spin it around point down and push away from body okay that's it and so now you have your two pieces here. You're like, oh my god, oh, I'm so confused. What do I do with these? I don't remember how to put them back together. <laughs> okay, what you're going to want to do is you can start with them both exactly like this. And it doesn't matter which is which. They're the same piece, okay? So you don't have to worry about getting them confused like that. But um, hold them both so that the long arms are pointing up. And so the short arms are both pointing to the right and overlapping in the front, okay? turn them sideways like this, okay? So you go like this, boom, down like this. Now that you're holding them like this, what I want you to do is that I want, I want you to take this short arm and put it through this loop, and I want you to take this short arm and put it through this loop, okay? So you see I'm putting this through here, like that, and I'm gonna do that at the top too, okay? And then I'm gonna take this arm and I'm gonna swing it back around to the left, okay? And that's it. It's back on. And that's it. So yeah, you're like fiddling around with it for forever and you're like, 
uh, I just can't get them apart, but it's just, it's a twist, okay? That's all it is, is a twist. Um, yeah, there you go, guys. I actually have another logic puzzle um, that I've had for a while that I've been working on. I got it taken apart. I haven't yet figured out how to put it back together, but um, it's the Hanayama Quartet, I think is what it's called, so you can look forward to that at some point in the future when I finally figure out how to put it back together. I'm not going to look it up. That's not what I do, guys. You know that. Um, so we'll figure it out at some point. <laughs> I haven't worked on it a lot. I've just sort of, you know, tabled it for a while, but um, in the meantime, I had that short little quick one for you guys. I hope that helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye now.